whole year. 2018 might have been a little rough for some of y'all. I'm telling y'all, next week is going to be so amazing. If you've never been a part, if you have been a part, it's still going to be dope. We're pulling out all the stunts this year, y'all. We're pulling all the stunts out this year, you guys. Alright, so I really need you guys to y'all come back next week, be focused, be ready, be enthusiastic, like just be happy and excited about life. The theme this year is on top soon, leaders of the free world. That means you want to come up, baby. You blowing up right in front of your own eyes. You understand what I'm saying? And that's something to celebrate. Each one of you guys possess a unique power, a unique characteristic that only you can give. And on next week, we want to pull that out of you. We want to pull that greatness out of you. I think I said earlier, I was like, if you want to be great, study the greats. Do what the greats do. You understand what I'm saying? So, I can't wait for next week. I love each and every last one of you guys. I'm just going to say, bring it. Bring your A-game next week. And let's get it. We are here. We just finished another night of boot camp. And now we're doing a quick team meeting, getting ready for experience 20K or 2K 18. And that's what we're doing. You don't want to do it? You want to do it? You can turn that up. Rashad, how's the internship going so far? I'm thankful to be here. I'm excited. I'm humbled. I've had a great time. I love the whole staff. Everybody's very creative, very energetic, and it makes me better as an artist and as a um, as an intern. So I'm I'm thankful. Thank you, Dennis. I'm enjoying right. myself. Yeah. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah. Charnel, how's this whole process? Because you've been teaching, you've been writing, you've been tracking. It's super dope, you know? I'm just glad to be a part of the experience. Like, everything he said, you know? <laughs> On top of that, I feel glad to be a part of the experience. Like, just in general. Like, the process is dope. Come here for it. Dope. Tony, how's it been? You know, this is my first experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> so I'm so thankful to be a part of this whole thing. <laughs> now this is awesome, and I'm excited. Everything they said and then said, but this is my first experience, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared, but I'm excited. Mm. <laughs> Good. <No>. Jiggums. <laughs> <laughs> Jiggums, Micah. Huh. How's it going so far? You go first. Very challenging. Yes. What's been the challenge? Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Rock has been the Rock is He's um, very, uh, what is it? His dances. Pop, lock. And drop it. And drop it. And, uh, it? Yeah, it's a struggle. And dropping it. So it's, the choreo has been a, yes. a little. Very, which is needed. Right. So some, of, some of us are used to like to me a fast pace. But his is like slow. You got to listen to every beat. Hit every beat. So it's different. It's a lot. Even How was it teaching? Teaching. It's good. Yeah. They catch on quick, surprisingly. What you talk? Very, um, you no, did today. I hope you today. Tea. You did? You. Yeah. We're still working on Listen. confidence. So we're working on confidence. Yeah. Because they have it, but, you know, they act scary. How do you build confidence? I hype them up all the time. How do you hype them up? <laughs> hey. 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 Just sit right there. Hey. That's what I'm. What? Damn. Okay. That's all. <laughs> talk, talk. Confidence is, is very key. With everything. For, with every everything and everybody. And the, the question is how do you build confidence yeah. in the young people while at the same time being honest with them and pushing them, you know what I'm saying? I wonder if it's building confidence or if it's just bringing it out though. That's what I feel like. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring I out the confidence. Them, they already have it, but it's, you know. For boot camp purposes, going into experience is what experience, what you're gonna, just from experience of doing it for so long, what you're gonna see is that they already naturally had it, but they're shy, you know, or they, yeah. they just kind of need you to be silly with them. Yeah, I joke a lot. So that they'll <laughs> be <laughs> <more> <laughs> yeah. And then when they come out, then about three, day three, you might have to kind of reel them in and be like, okay, settle down. <laughs>
<laughs> so how do you find a healthy medium then? Like, because that's something that I'm like trying to figure out myself. Because I know like I've been at first in a in an environment that I'm not familiar with. Be like, okay, let me fill these people out. Because well, then yeah, na- just naturally you're gonna do that from on your first day. You they're gonna fill you out, and you're gonna be trying to fill them out, and then it never fails. By the end of the week, you kind of just gravitate to who you are similar to you know what i'm saying and so to have so many young professionals come out and and then to have the team they everybody can attest that we end up having maybe maybe my solid five or my solid 20 Mm -hmm. a solid five or a solid 20 that just kind of go to you and they're Mm going to find you and they're going to just resonate with it they're going to get along or or understand better understand you better you know what i'm saying you don't have to you don't have to change your swag or none of that Mm -hmm. they're just going to gravitate to you Okay. Mm-hmm. I think what also helps is you got to force yourself sometimes. Mm-hmm. Just go up and start talking and then like they might be shy a little bit but then like after that like next couple of days they feel more comfortable. That kind of helps them out. Because I know I'm shy and so if you come to me I'll be like mm-hmm. yeah, and then yeah, like yeah. the next day I'll be like oh okay. <laughs> you just going to get it to look like oh okay, <laughs> girl I don't want to talk to you either. Alright bye. <laughs> that helps a lot. It's to go up. Okay, what's it been like teaching Miss Tom so far? Um, this is actually my third experience. So. <laughs> it's very different to go from first time teaching, from taking and then being able to actually Here, why teach. Why am I videotaping here? <laughs> so it's you, I, bro. I just want to say <laughs> thank you guys for trusting me and my vision. Oh, say it again. Say it again. I mean, I mean, cause like my dad's the way I got it set up is my vision. So I get that. I get it. I get it. We accept your name, guys. Real. Accept the vision as well. So I have a question for dancers, though, like because y'all all have your own style. So how do you guys like? How do y'all feed up at that, like, and not try to like interfere oh, no, with their? It's just, it's just like your vibe. That's what's so we like. We try to keep each other ready. So yeah, like with me and Rock, we've been in it for a very long time. Like we've been dancing with each other for a very long time, so it's like kind of natural. Um, with Simba, we working on it. He mm. teaching me some things. Teaching Simba us. hard. He is. I, I like. It. That's my thing. It, it's good to have like a balance because I don't understand when I'm being too tough sometimes, <laughs> and then yes, it'll give me this little like. Uh, <laughs> okay, my bad. It so, not be too so easy. He's like, okay, I can go home. Balance. Yeah, it's a good challenge. These things will be not fun. Yes, we are all about that. And then the 95, you get 100 of any of these goals. I feel like it's good for everybody, though. Like, they always all have our own different style. And we can, like, beat off each other and run into each other. How are you going to build confidence in them? I'm going to have to call them up more. How are you going to pull out that confidence? I have to work, actually work with them, like put them in front more, put them in front more. I think it helps us if we acknowledge them more in the class because they're like overpowered, we're outnumbered. Yeah. So if we acknowledge them more in the class, they'll see that they're like actually seen. Yeah, I feel that. That means a lot. Mm-hmm. Especially if they feel that way in their real life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. All right. Wonderful. All right, so. Is anybody like really excited about this freaking show? Yeah. Y'all, okay. I know we say this, we say this, we say this every year, but I ain't gonna flex. I really, and I'm not being even spiritual, but I really feel an anointing on this show because mm-hmm. it's kind of like pa- paralleling where we are in the world itself. Um, and then I'm gonna be honest with you, it's probably even paralleling where we are, maybe even personally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where we're having to like, we're having to do more to affirm ourselves because there's so many challenges that we're facing in our own personal lives that are kind of keeping us from really being the heroes in our own story. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like um, this show is really going to be like a manifestation of us living out what we're living through the stage. So. Um,